lifestyle. We love the West. We love Montana. Uh, and we love, you know, there's so many parts of Montana that we love, but uh, we love being out on the ranch. And Chris grew up uh, knowing how to pull a calf, knowing how to irrigate, knowing how to buck a 60-pound bale, sometimes a little bit heavier. So um, the, I think the Supreme Court would, would uh, it would be great if we could put somebody with an agricultural background uh, on the Supreme Court. I don't think they've got that right now. So um, it's, I think Chris would give a really good perspective. Couple of weeks, but he also had a repertoire of songs. We had no idea where we, where they came from. And I'm going to sing. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs. Growing up, it was a song about the little red hen. And the story is, uh, all the kids loved it because it was about the hen and the barn animals. And our cousin Greta learned all the words when she was a kindergartner. Took it and sang it to her kindergarten teacher in her class. And she was sent home from school that day. For <laughs> so uh, apparently we didn't understand the real meaning of the song. It's kind of a family tradition. Yes. We're going to teach oh, Ashlyn, my granddaughter, will learn this. will be one of her first songs. <laughs> you guys ready? Said the little red hen to the little red rooster. You don't come around, sir. As much as you used to, said the little red rooster to the little red hen. We'll meet you in the barnyard about a half past ten. Well, the night was dark. You could hardly see, and the little red hen. Shout it out with glee, said the little red hen to the little red rooster. You are much better, sir, than you ever used, sir, said a big, rough voice. There ain't no rooster. Twas then that the little red hen knew the gander had Booster! <laughs>